Which what, what was the what was the song that that mostly stuck out to you when you when you really tapped into Pimp C man or UGK? Ah man, probably have to go back to um. I, I want to say pocket full of stones. Ooh. But I got a pocket full of stones. Got a pocket full of stones. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. About that, uh, what, what's the name of that, uh, the album that you're working on next? Oh, The Resurrection of Chad Butler, man. The, what, what, first of all, some people say, what make you even tap into Chad being that you, you actually from, Way down, you in you in Florida? I, I was born, born in Florida, born in Miami, yeah. Florida. Yeah. But I, I was actually, you know, raised most of my life in Atlanta. Okay, I got ties here. You know, my daddy was here, born in Fort Worth, Dallas. So I got ties here. Dallas. I got ties throughout the South, Alabama, Memphis. So you know, I'm a country boy. If you want to really get to it, you know, what I'm saying to be legitimate. But I'm from the South, man. You know what I mean? You can't just put me in one area. So how, what made you tap in the Chad like that? Chad Butler is one of the favorites it's on this my show. My favorite artist, man. I grew up listening to Chad, man, and uh, he he really got me into music. UGK, Bun B, you know, I was a big fan of their music, man. And, shh, I used to always want to be like Chad Butler, no lie. Which what, what was the what was the song that that mostly stuck out to you when you when you really tapped in the Pimp C, man, or UGK? Ah, man. Probably have to go back to um. I, I want to say pocket full of stones. Ooh. But I got a pocket full of stones. Got a pocket full of stones. Heard Ooh. so many songs before that that kind of got me engaged to them. Um, pimpin' ain't no illusion. Man. Um, man, look at me. Uh, I'm PMC. Man, that look you at so me. Got so many, you know what I mean? It's yeah. too hard. I, yeah. got, I think I just caught on to all of it. Everything yeah. he dropped was just like glass to me. I was just into it. Can, you, you, you remember when he went to prison and all that? All of that, man. I, uh, everything that hurt me when he went down. You know, I liked the way he, he was always expressing himself about the South. We get on radio shows, he wasn't holding back. You want to get mad at me for the way I see you? Then God get mad at me, and a fight go with that. You feel me? By like nothing he had to express and say he was, you know what I'm saying? Um, just wide open with, with what he felt, and I, I appreciated that. I loved his um, accent. I loved the way he talked. That country slang on the track, yeah, like it was just all, you know what I'm saying? It represented the South, and that was what I represented. So. But, but what what about what that time when he jumps on the radio in, in Atlanta and he he just go down through there on the fact of how he felt about, and he really was calling a few people out <laughs> on it, but he didn't really just it was kind of subliminalish, you know what I'm saying? You know what? Mad. Let me tell you why I'm mad. I'm mad because everybody on these records lying. <laughs> That's the film. He can do that. You feel me? He can I, do that. I remember I came to Atlanta and them dudes were like, man, you know, Pimp just went off on, on Atlanta. I said, nah, for real? Right, and that's right. kind of, I was in Atlanta, I remember right after that, and it was like, it was a thing where he really was just telling people to sharpen up. Yeah, like, y'all like, lying on these tracks. <laughs> I need price which I get some square folks, man. Yeah, I'm telling you. You, you were laughing, were you? <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.